In general, it's been a very early year this year. We're about 10 days ahead of last year, depending on the season. And um, also picking early for sparkling programs. The, the winemakers and just the sparkling programs uh, require the assets to be much higher. So winemakers will usually come into the vineyards and uh, do a lot of uh, analysis, maturity analysis, and then decide to pick earlier to go to that sparkling program. So these grapes are about 19, 19 bricks. And, uh, and yeah, it's, uh, it's our first pick and the only one for today. since bud break, approximately 10 to 15 days earlier than average. We are now looking at a generous crop level with very high quality vintage, both for Chardonnay and Pinot Noir, the two main varietals that we utilize to craft our sparkling wines. We pick sparkling wine grapes early because we are looking at a low bricks content, which is the measure of sugar and a higher acidity content, which gives a lot of freshness and longevity to our wines. All right, in remembrance of those who came before us, in commitment to those who will come after us, and in loving memory of our father winemaker, Guy Devaux, here's to a great harvest 2013. <laughs> We uh, regularly go to uh, the vineyards uh, a few times a week and we uh, get some berry samples which we bring back to our laboratory where we analyze the sugar content, the acidity, uh, but the decision to make the pick when to harvest is made by tasting the grapes on the field, walking the rows, looking at, uh, at the grapes and tasting them to make sure they have the right flavor profile that we are looking at.
So now I'm putting the sugar in this uh, optic lens that shoots uh, some, some light through it. Mm -hmm. And then the light will tell you how much uh, sugar or uh, solids there are in, in the juice, which tells you how much sugar there is. So, but every bottle that's produced goes through this room. And as soon as you take that out, there's so much pressure that it shoots the yeast sediment out, and then you can put the cork in. Three to four week process, depending yeah. on how fast. And it's all computerized and mechanized and insane. Yeah, so now... And so they'll freeze it, it pops it off, and because of the pressure in the bottle, it'll push it all out. And then uh, they'll turn it right side up, put in the dosage, which is what makes it um, sweet, and then it'll be labeled and bottled and ready for sale.